There was a wagon pulled by two really nice horses that pulled up front and they were delivering some personal products for Ashley. He's having some of his merchandise shipped here to the barber shop it seems. Mm. But when that horn blew, it scared the, those horses so bad that they had an accident right here in front of the barber shop on the street. And Jack said, we can't have that. They'll be tracking that stuff right in here at the barber shop and it'll just be a mess. So he saw this young man out there. He said, son, you want to make a dollar or two? He said, well, yes, sir. He said, well, go around there at the back of the barber shop and get that shovel. And if you will, come out here and clean this up and I'll, I'll pay you some money. The young fellow said, well, okay. So a few minutes, Jack went out there to check on him, and the young fellow was sitting there. Stirred, he had piled it up in a pile, he spread it out real good, and he was drawing a picture in it. And that song made me think of it, Jack. He was drawing a picture right in the middle of it, and Jack looked up, he said, son, what are you doing? He said, I'm drawing a picture. He said, of what? Jason the Barber. <laughs> You're drawing a picture of Jason the barber in that, and Jack could help a little bit, be a little envious because you know he runs the radio station. He's an announcer. He said, "Well, son, I, I'm a radio announcer. I've got a TV show coming up, and I've been on television for years, and I'm a disc jockey, and I sing a little and all that. Why didn't you draw a picture of me in that?" He said. I didn't have enough horsemen here. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs>